Naima Ramos Chapman. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I always have to be physical, so for sure dancing and yoga and I bicycle during the um, summer months now because winter is too harsh. Literally anything creative. Love art, love going to museums. When I was younger, nobody really showed me how to be an artist, so it kind of felt like not a real thing to try to pursue. In high school, I went to a professional performing arts school and got to dance, to get training from Alvin Ailey, um, the Ailey School, rather. But then, I remember senior year, my mind had kind of drastically got like real. I guess I just felt like it wasn't practical to pursue dancing um, professionally, and I had a lot of injuries. I had like a really bad, um, or I had a really bad back issue where I would um, basically I couldn't walk for two days, two weeks um, if something went wrong. Nobody could really tell what it was. And then I have tendonitis in my left foot. I just really hated working nine to five at this think tank. It was like, I had a breakdown because it was so bad. Um, and just kind of going with the whole office culture, I always stuck out pretty badly. And so I just stopped trying to fit in and went back to New York and kind of picked up where I left off. Dancing is sort of like problem solving on the spot. I'm not a very natural looking dancer, I'm very athletic. A dance teacher's always told me like, oh, you should have been a tennis player or a swimmer or just something other than dancing. What I get is just kind of learning on the spot of how to use what I have to achieve like a certain feeling or a certain imagery. Um, it's very freeing. I did drama when I was younger. I never took it seriously, like I was a stage manager and very shy. Uh, but for me, acting is very similar to dance in terms of the problem solving aspect. Like you are given a script and you study it, but like it's really your job to make it spontaneous and fun for people to watch and fun for you. And so doing something so rote and then learning how to like make it feel fresh every time is it's challenging and you're also told not to think about it so you can look natural and so it's sort of it's similar to dance in that way, just using voice and moving a lot less, which is actually better for my body. When I was younger you know, I was real thin and awkward. Sexually harassed, but also confused as to why, since it was always sort of talking about a deficit of what I, like, hey, this is what you don't have, I'm still in sexually harassed you, battling all these super perfect body images, wanting to be a man. I think that came more from desiring this sort of access and um, entitlement. I think I just got comfortable.